It's time for local stories from across the East. Local food. Local fashion. Local businesses. This is your home for local. This is the East's Daily Download on Eastern North Carolina CW. All right, come on, oh, man. Come on. Oh, oh, come on. Oh. 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 Hello and welcome. Hi. To the East oh. Daily. The, the, the download. Down, what he said. Yeah. We are at the New Look Bounds and Party, Winterville on location. And uh, when we last we left you, we were celebrating John's birthday going in the obstacle course here. Yeah, somewhere back there, I lost, lost, lost track. track. Yeah. That was days ago, I think. Oh. Uh, we have a big show in store for you today. Uh, one of the things we're gonna be doing is uh, this obstacle course and trying to make it to the end by the end of this show. Is there even an end? I haven't or seen it. Or is it a lie? I don't know. Uh. But uh, why don't you guys go Ooh, okay. check. Go on without us. Uh, let, come what back he said. Check us... this story out and yeah. we'll, uh, we'll rejoin you in a bit uh, here on the East Daily Download Obstacle Course All right. Edition. I'm good. Okay. Good afternoon, Madam Clerk. My name is Adrian and I'm nine years old. Good afternoon, Madam Clerk. It is my pleasure to stand before you today and I appreciate being allowed to speak to you about the adoption of my two brothers. If you ask my mom, I'm guessing she would say that Adrian and I are a lot like our two younger brothers. Anthony came to live with us when he was just a few weeks old. Siler was only a few days old. They were a, they were a lot younger than Martine and I were when we came to live with my mom and dad. But in one way in particular, we are very different. It's, it's a pretty special way, actually. You see, the babies were not born with the names they have today. My parents decided a while ago to change Byron Lee Ron's name to Siler Patrick and Anthony Germain's name to Anthony Mack. They did this because of the person standing next to me. When the babies are old enough to understand it all, I will try to explain how important Judge Siler Mack is to our family and the meaning behind their names. But not just the literal meaning. I'm talking about the personal reasons behind their name change. It won't be hard because there are so many good things that you can say about Judge Siler Mack. She tells me not to worry about what other thinks, what others think. It's hard not to do that though. When my parents told me that they were going to adopt my brothers and change their names, I wondered why. They taught me that God made us a family for a reason. I know Josiah Mack believes that too. So should my mom and dad. If my brothers and I can overcome some hard things that happened in our um, life on our own, then we can overcome anything as a family. I know one thing that I'm going to grow up doing my best to make my family and Judge Tyler Mack proud of me. One of my favorite baseball players said it like this, every strike brings me closer to the next home run. So today, we become a family of six. And although Anthony and Tyler didn't, do not yet understand the significance of this day, I do. And I promise to work hard every day to help them understand that. I want them to know that adoption is a good thing and that when they are confused or sad about something, being adopted may actually help them get through it. Adoption was the best thing that ever happened to me, and I know that it will also be the best thing that has ever happened to my brothers. Thank you for listening to me and allowing me to share my story with you. The long forecast, the seven, eight day forecast, that's what I like to see. <laughs> that lets me know ahead of time what the weather's gonna be like. Jerry does a good job, he lets you know when something is trying to transpire. Um, I have the app on my phone and the radar on my phone so I can keep up with that. It helps me know when the storm is coming up and when we, what the weather's gonna be like and what's bad. One moment I really appreciated was when Hurricane Florence was about and the way Jerry really let you know what was gonna happen. That was one moment that made my decision for us to leave town at that time. Because in Craven County, we hit, got hit bad and Jerry really emphasized how strong the storm surge was going to be, how much wind we was going to have, how much damage was expected. So that gave us determination to leave town. So that was the, one of the great moments, I believe, uh, was with Jerry's forecast of Hurricane Florence. I just wanted to say y'all continue to do what you're doing. To be able to provide a place for them to be able to come while they're going through those tragedies and take away some of those stresses that they have. When it comes to a hot meal, uh, where they're going to lay their head at night. If 
the Ron McDonald House did not exist, families would be living in waiting rooms. I love the interaction that we have with our families. Um, when they're here, they get to take all those burdens away. It's really an awesome part of my job. Well, we're, we're back we're... here. Oh, hey. Come on. Oh. You can do it. Oh. No man left behind. Oh. Okay, oh. we're back here at oh. East Stanley Download on oh. location. Uh, oh. New look bouncing party. We're doing the obstacle course. John just had his birthday yesterday, as you remember from the show. And oh, I'm so old. Uh. Apparently, it's not taking well. Uh. Uh. Anyway, we got a lot of show for you to get to. Um, how is Bryce making this look so easy? She's just like I don't know what you're talking about. She's upside down. It's really weird. Uh, okay. Uh, anyway, uh, we're going to continue on this obstacle course, and uh, we'll see you back here in a little bit. Check this story out, and we're going to, you know, continue our way. All you right. can do it. Oh, no. Oh. Oh. <laughs> so with, tell our viewers and tell me, are there a lot of places in North Carolina that do what you do with renting bounce houses out? I mean, is that a big thing, or do you guys kind of have the market cornered a little bit? Um, I can't say we have it cornered. When we started out, I just like to do things decent and in order. Yeah. So I reached out to party makers, ASAP, all of those companies that were doing it. And I let them know, hey, we're getting ready to do it. Um, try to get the prices so we could stay within the same amount. So we came out in the business and they were too busy in ASAP. They do big corporate business, so they were throwing us business. So huh. I can say, say thanks to ASAP and party makers for helping us build our business because they were referring people to us, and they still do that now. We just all one little bounce family. I love it. I mean, we don't have it cornered, but we just have our you heart. You probably in. have the most, though. Yes, they will tell us that we have the most. What was the idea uh, to go indoors? It was kind of a need and people was reaching out. I'm guessing during the winter time especially, a lot of parents bring their younger kids in there mm -hmm. during either but after school time. After school and we have the moms group. Um, they um, do a lot with us. They come out and during the day and we mm -hmm. have this day that everybody loves is $2 Tuesday. You can come in and bounce for $2. So, I wish um, I would have known about that. <laughs> yeah, so they come in and we stay pretty busy. When it get really, really hot outside and people don't want to be outside, we get busy. When it's cold outside, people don't want to be in the cold and we get busy. So it kind of weighs itself yeah. out. What we're sitting in right now, which is the new look mobile this game is the video, trailer. yeah. The, this is the game center that you take out to parties, or mm -hmm. if there's a birthday party, parents, or doesn't have to be a parent, could be anybody Adults, can anybody. rent this out. Mm -hmm. And what all? It, it, there's obviously monitors here for vid video games, and you have virtual reality headset mm -hmm. in here too. I have to say, this is actually our baby. Okay. We birthed it. I put my own carpet in. Okay. I did my own chairs. <laughs> I would imagine this is a very popular attraction. Yes, it is. And because you can go anywhere, you guys drive it. So what is the rental time? Is it an hour Most a Most people, day? it depends how you want it. Okay. So a lot of times we get in the parents ask for an hour and then the kids are having so much fun. They were like, can I add another hour? Can I add another hour? So now most people are starting to get it for two hours. But it's funny um, with the bouncers, ECU students rent our bouncers out more than anybody. <laughs> Well, listen, it's a lot of fun. You don't have to be a kid to enjoy no, that. I mean, it's no. a kid of all ages. You get in there and you kind of just get sucked into the whole thing. And next thing you know, you're, you know, 10 minutes have passed and you're just, you know, bouncing up and down. Yeah, I mean, it's a good time. Like a Tasmanian devil. Nine-year-old Omari is working to become a stronger reader along with his fourth grade classmates. My dad got me a graphic novel and I've been reading it. 
Only about a third of American fourth graders are reading on grade level, according to a 2019 report from the National Assessment of Educational Progress, leaving millions of kids in need of better skills. Of those children, they're four times less likely to graduate from high school um, on time. Karina Pollan is CEO of Reading Partners, an organization that's working with more than 11,000 elementary students around the country. The program pairs young children with staff tutors as well as community volunteers to practice reading one-on-one. -on -one. From first grade to third grade, ch children learn to read. And then there's that transition in the fourth grade where they read to learn. And so if they can't read by fourth grade, then they cannot learn. Program manager Ali Hoyle works at this New York City school with Omari and his classmates. She says the benefits of reading aren't just seen in the classroom. Resiliency. Kids are not afraid to give up. When they get to a hard word, they try and try again until they get it right. She says once the skills click, so does their confidence. He ran to the garage. The hard work here is paying off for Omari. What have you noticed? That I've been reading better. And it's just the beginning. Omari's goal is to be a lawyer someday. Elise Preston, CBS News, New York. Hello, welcome back Whoa, to the East Daily Download as we continue our, where are you, John? Where is John? Uh, oh, uh, I can't, uh, there you are. I can. Just off uh, oh, oh, okay. We are, uh, Mark, I'm afraid. Uh, I understand. Uh, We're the East Daily Download here at the uh, New Look Bowson Party, uh, Winterville on location. Um, it's a great time, come check it out. Uh, let me give you a quick plug, though, for the uh, mobile app, which I would talk about inside of a bounty house because it makes complete sense. But go to WNCT.com, watch the show on the download app, or, or download down, tab, excuse me. Uh, I'm a little worked up here inside of this. Or the WNCT mobile app, you can watch the Daily Download on the go. You could be here at New Look Bounty Party in the house, well, whatever this is, the obstacle course that we're in, and watch the show in here. That'd be amazing. Okay. Uh, we're going to continue on, and uh, one second, I want to watch the show, but I'll catch you up with okay. you in a second. He's going to watch the show. Uh, See you. Uh, Keith Urban has a big announcement. That, uh, I will be hosting the ACMs this year live from Las Vegas. Urban, who was named the Academy of Country Music's Entertainer of the Year last year, will host the 55th Annual Country Music Awards for the first time. The awards air on CBS April 5th. I don't think Meghan could have known. A new documentary profiles Meghan Markle's royal rise and then her departure. The hour-long film about the Duchess of Sussex is part of Vice TV's new series, Vice Versa. The special will feature palace insiders and royal experts. It's been pretty devastating to see how she has been treated in the media and the public. Meghan Markle, Escaping the Crown, premieres March 10th on Vice TV. And the story of Peter Pan is back, now told from a new perspective. In this version, Wendy is the star, but she's not Peter's love interest. Want to fly? We can fly. Wendy hops on a train with Peter. Can they stay kids forever? Catch Wendy in theaters today. That's your Eye on Entertainment, Marin Austin, CBS News, Los Angeles. So whose show is this anyway? <laughs> <laughs> We beat the bullies. Can I be a part of your family? Yeah! Do you like chocolate? Yeah, I mean, like, takes care of your soul. And your butt if you want to grow. <laughs> Stop shoveling snow and watch Kelly Clark. Hi, I'm Dalisa Robles, the social media manager at WNCT. WNCT now was born because digital is growing big and even bigger like every single day so we want to keep up to date with every like social media tools and whatnot and we want to have more visual content for the audience so we created WNCT now to produce live streams podcasts and even a breaking newsroom WNCT now is not only broadcast it's more than that
Our nation's capital, decisions are made here that affect all of us. And today, more than ever, people want truth, understanding, and accountability. So join us every evening as we bring you CBS News original reporting from around the world, while keeping our eye on what's going on right here in Washington. And bringing you the latest news and weather across the East. The CBS Evening News with Nora O'Donnell from Washington, D.C. After WNCT 9 and your side news. visit with the Humane Society of Eastern Carolina. So welcome back to Shelby. And who do we have here? So this is Starkle. He's about seven years old. Aww. He loves other cats. He does not like dogs. So a home without dogs okay. is definitely um, required. They scare him. Even mm -hmm. though he's huge, he does put them in their place. But right. why stress him out? But he's an amazing cat. He loves to give kisses. Um, and Aww. he is good on a leash. Yes, look at this. <laughs> he's on a leash. Oh, did I scare you? I'm sorry. Uh, he's okay. <laughs> Loud noises make him a little nervous, but he's he's such a good boy, and he really adjusts to wherever he is really great. quickly. He was walking around a minute ago out there and exploring. He's a great cat. Good. All right. What's coming up for the Humane Society? So we are looking for fosters. Um, I know a lot of people think it's you know a huge commitment. It, it's really a week, a couple mm -hmm. of days. You know, each animal has their individual needs and how long right. they need to stay. So, if you got a couch we can crash on for a week or so, um, definitely reach out to us and so we supply everything. Perfect. I've fostered and it is so rewarding. All right, if you are interested in adopting this guy or any of the other animals at the Humane Society of Eastern Carolina, visit them online at hsecarolina.org. Watch your local WNCT 9 in your side news on our live stream on WNCT.com or on our mobile app. Thousands of new toys will be hitting the market this year. From a flying pixie to a marshmallow blaster, even a sloth that can do the floss dance. But the anticipation for this toy is out of this world. It's going to be a frenzy. <laughs> you think people are going to be fighting over Baby Yoda? I do. The I do. force is going to be with them. The force is definitely with them. <laughs> the Toy Insider's Lori Schacht says Baby Yoda from the Disney Mandalorian series will be everywhere. Officially called the child, Mattel has a plush toy coming out this spring and a smaller version for the fall. So this will be $24.99, this one is $12.99. Hasbro will have its own $25 toy that moves in the spring. There will also be puzzles. Oh, oh, hey, I got one. In a game where you shoot frogs through Yoda's mouth. Yes. Oh. And I think that as quickly as merchandise hits the shelves, it is going to disappear. The Mealtime Magic Doll is getting buzz for its lifelike expressions. Pick a virtual food. We got some peas coming. And the baby reacts. Did she like that? Oh, I think she did. Kids are also expected to flip for this game. Put on the goggles. Oh, wow. And your world is turned upside down. You're on the one. Okay. Now go to the two. Oh. <laughs> it's not all games. There are plenty of toys to stimulate learning. Like this robot that kids build themselves, or the mega cyborg hand with hydraulics that respond to touch. 200 pieces in this baby. Wow. The toys are designed to help kids get a grip on robotics and have fun at the same time. Nancy Chen, CBS News, New York. Visit WNCT.com for details not in the newscast. Hey guys, I'm Alexa Kay with the Down East Wood Ducks, the baseball team in Kinston, North Carolina. And I'm here today to tell you guys a little bit about our theme weekends this season. We did theme weekends last year, but this year we're gonna bring them back. We're bringing back some of your favorites, like our collard greens weekend and our beach weekend, but we have some new and exciting ones in store for you guys as well, such as our halfway to Halloween weekend, where we have this really cool Halloween jersey giveaway and we're going to be doing a Father's Day weekend where we have not one, but two Father's Day caps and a pregame catch on the field with Dad. We can't wait to see all of you guys out here for our theme weekends this season and for opening day on April 9th. Thank you guys and go Woodies!
If your business would like to be featured in our new show, The East Daily Download, contact Joel Bullard at 252-355-8520 or jbullard at wnct.com today and watch The East Daily Download weekdays at 7 on Eastern North Carolina CW. Well, that's going to do it for this episode. Mark! Uh, uh. Oh, these daily downloads. Where are you? Oh. Okay. Oh. Did you finish watching the show? Yeah, it's great. We got out. We got out of the here. The yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Did right? we get out today, or did we get out like in a future day? Uh, I think it's tomorrow's show. It's actually, not next week's show. Not either. next week's show. Don't worry. Okay. We only got one but, more night here. Okay. The good part about that is. is <sighs> You can, on the mobile app and WNCT.com, you can watch future episodes. So get the mobile app, like we mentioned, Google Play in the App Store. You can watch on the go, WNCT's mobile app, these Daily Download, wherever you are, including in the obstacle course at New Look Bouncing Party in Winterville, uh, North Carolina. So uh, we're going to continue. Uh, we thought we'd be done by now, but we are not. So, uh, hey, more fun for tomorrow. So, Ooh, can't uh, wait. Stick around and... Uh, yeah, I seem to feel like my hair was much straighter when I came in. That's uh, fine. Honestly, if we're gonna spend more time here, I'm just gonna. This looks like a good place to nap. I'm just gonna take it, it is easy. Comfy. So come on out oh. and check it out. And uh, okay, we're gonna keep on. And uh, uh, Bryce has actually been back through here twice with the camera while we've been trying to get through once. So uh, uh. we'll see you tomorrow. Everybody. Good oh. luck. when we hit the road for the next edition of the East Daily Download. We're live at Whirly Gig Stage for an interview and performance. We bring you a new Ion Entertainment. We wrap up our interview with the owner of New Look Bouncing Party. When it get really, really hot outside and people don't want to be outside, we get busy. When it's cold outside, people don't want to be in the cold and we get busy, so it kind of weighs itself yeah. out. And since it's Friday, we have Let's Craft and Fashion Friday coming your way. We'll see you on the next edition of the East Daily Download on Eastern North Carolina, CW.